Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Fiolano TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, you remember that the courts gave a ruling that the DCJ Filimona Mwilu was mandated by law to uh, constitute a, 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 a three judge bench. But the lawyers representing Ruto had a different take. Their, their take was that the High Court cannot deal with an impeachment case. The only uh, body is the Supreme Court. Now, the judges said they are properly constituted to handle any case, and the DCJ can formulate a, a, a bench. Talking about formulating a bench, I want to, to, I want you to pay a close attention to this video from Dr. John Haminwa. As a matter of fact, I can say to you very, very respectfully, if there are parties, and if there are, who do not want or who do not wish to he see you hear this matter. Please walk out. You are not the only judges in the country at all. Let another panel of judges be appointed to hear this matter. Now, very well. Get out is the word there from Dr. John Amino. Why do you think the lawyer is telling the judges to get out? Simply get out. It sounds crazy, but that's the message. Get out. It's very simple. You know, in law, I think the judiciary is allowed, the judges are allowed to recast, you know, they can recast when they find that there's some kind of, uh, you know, conflict of interest, maybe, or realize that uh, there is a lot of uh, complaints from the ground. Like, for example, for example, this case, the three judge bench has received multiple uh, complaints from people who think that the ruling might not be uh, 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 fa favorable to, or rather might, might not be fair. To Rigadi Gachagua, so the faction of Rigadi Gachagua doesn't want this judge to be the part, to be the one organ uh, handling the impeachment. The faction of Ruto also doesn't want this bench to be the one, you know, handling the impeachment. So that is what is befalling this uh, bench, and that is why you find that Amino is telling the judges get out. So now, before we get further on this analysis, I'd like to kindly urge you to go below there and like this video. It's so important if you like this video, that is the only way YouTube shares our content. I've discovered that people forget to subscribe. Please subscribe so that this channel can grow. Thank you so much for that support. Now, if you remember, or if you've been following the proceedings in court, you realize that before the judges ruled on uh, whether they are properly empaneled or whether the DCJ can empanel a bench, there was an exchange between Aminwa, the lawyer, and the former Attorney General, Gidu Muigai. I don't know how many of you watched that exchange. It was something that was a bit amusing because there are some words which uh, the senior counsel used there, which did not sit well with Gidu Muigai, but as a result, those words silenced Gidu Muigai and uh, Dr. John Amino could was allowed to continue with the, with the submission, and I think you must have followed that uh, exchange. So I want to talk about that exchange, ladies and gentlemen. Our focus is on this part where Amino is telling the judges, get out. Now, is this is that something that is possible? I mean, look at looking at the matter, do you think it is possible for a judge to recast himself from this case? Of course, it's possible. We are not saying that the judges there will be biased. It is something that John, Dr. John Amino tried to express there. But there's something there's that Dr. John Amino tried to put across there, which also I think it could have shocked so many Kenyans, the issue of America. Mind you, if I may remind you, the constitution of Kenya was made from the constitution of America. Now, that's the truth. If you remember the story of Yashpal Guy, he was contracted to come up with a constitution but you know the history of what happened until we had Waki report, we had Cliffy report, we had, I don't know, you know, uh, there was a Naivasha draft. 
those many drafts were floated, but Kenyans ended up going for the bombers draft, which was as a result of Yashpa guys making. And Yashpa guy brought, uh, borrowed some of the clauses there from the American constitution. So the argument by Dr. John Amino is that if Americans came up with a constitution 200 years ago and they have never impeached a vice president, how comes a small country like Kenya is finding it very easy to impeach a deputy president within a span of less than 20 years? No, they have impeached someone. <laughs> it is a very serious argument. And I think that could have sat well or sunk in the judges' minds. How comes? America has never found it necessary to impeach a president, a deputy president, and they have never been successful, even though those are, uh, there have been challenges there. But it's in Kenya, it has become very, very easy to impeach a deputy president. I think there was something there that uh, Dr. John Amino was trying to lead to. I wanted to pay attention to this other side of uh, other 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 part where Dr. Mino is making those submissions. Provisions like Kenya for two hundred years, there is no president or deputy president who has been uh, impeached, and the impeachment has succeeded. None at all. None at all. Kenya, a young country, which got the first constitution involving impeachment provisions, came into operation in 2010, and in 2024, we are now being told the deputy president has been impeached successfully, has been found guilty. Is it unreasonable to suspect there is something wrong? Is it unreasonable to suspect that someone is doing something wrong? A child may be a nut, may not be probably properly educated, but he's a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Why should he be the first one within such a short time to be impeached in the country? Isn't there, can't you suspect there is something wrong? that you are not doing some things properly, that America, which has had impeachment provisions for 200 years, has never successfully convicted someone for impeachment at all a politician. Thank you, Dr. Kabinwa. Very well, ladies and gentlemen. How comes 200 years Americans have never impeached a president or a vice president? But in Kenya, we find it very easy to impeach Rigadi Gachagua. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a question that was posed to the judges to think about, you know, before they make their own rulings. But one thing I can assure you about, this case is going to drag all the way to the Supreme Court. Because right now, there's another petition that has been filed at the Court of Appeal. There's an appeal that has been made from the Paul Mwites, uh camp. We expect many petitions. And we also expect many petitions in other courts, local courts. You know, remember, any petition that is filed anywhere will derail uh, the swearing in of Kithore Kedeki. So that's something that we need to be aware of. And that explains why we think this impeachment will drag all the way to 2027. I'm foreseeing that kind of possibility. And it was said by Danston uh, Dan Omari one of the lawyers represent Rigadi Gachago. So I want to rest my case there, but what do you think about this statement coming from Dr. John Aminwa? He told the judges to get out. Get out. Just go below in the comment section and you can offer reaction on that. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed, take one second and subscribe, like this video. Until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.